All right, this is the July 8th meeting of the select board of the town of Conway. We're being taped by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing by our residents and the public later on. First item on the agenda is our Monday, June 24th meeting minutes. Phil, have you had a chance to look at these? Yeah, the, the, the question that I had had from two weeks ago that was about the minutes or about a warrant, about a pollution control yes. um, thing. That didn't make it into the minutes, but that that's kind of okay. I, I just, I, I mischaracterized that. I was characterizing it as a payment that the town made. It was a payment that the town received in that account. And I found out that that was a revolving fund that was set up many years ago um, for people to do septic. It, based on income and it was it's a revolving loan of, mm -hmm. but it was made the community development block grant yeah, yeah. thank you I'm, administered I'm, by the regional housing authority exactly right? and yeah. and um, that that was set up back when interest rates were 17 percent and so our interest rate on that is five percent and that's why that, that so the housing authority wants us to lower the interest rate like all the other towns have done to somewhere between one and two percent in the hopes that uh, uh, somebody will use it because nobody's used that in many many years there's only one person left paying it and that's a um, and that was a settlement from an estate uh, it, it is order. a revolving fund so people do come mm -hmm. in and out we only have one current right person but, using it. but when yeah. banks when banks have better terms than our revolving account mm, yeah so what um, that, I mean that was what the yeah, housing yeah. so maybe to put it on the agenda for next time to take a look at it and see whether we can I mean that's just the recommendation of the FERCOG housing guy whatever oh sure so, yeah, yeah we'll do that so hey. that was that Hi, you're okay. to finish, aren't we? Um, mm -hmm. other than that everything good yes okay I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes for um, or approve the minutes for Monday June 24th we'll I have a second yes all in favor yes okay Next item on the agenda, we have five warrants tonight. We have a vendor warrant for fiscal 2019 for $18,383, a payroll deduction warrant for fiscal year 2019 for $8.32. Uh, we have a vendor warrant for fiscal 2020 for $533,395, and the reason it's so high is because we have our quarterly payment to Frontier of $383,000. We have a payroll warrant uh, for fiscal year 2020 for $105,606. And we have a payroll deduction warrant for fiscal year 2020 for $25,456. Make a motion that we approve those warrants. Do I have a second? Um, well, I just want to say that I, I did look through all these. I do have, I, I didn't, I did see that the um, the bill for MIIA liability and workers' comp insurance is fifty six thousand for this year, and that's all well and good. I don't have any complaints about the bill, other than that it's that's a big enough number that it's I think it's really worth it, it's to shop around next time and get another quote i know you disagree with that yeah right? i disagree with that so uh, okay we can leave it at that but that's uh okay. that's what i have to say about that other okay. than that i will second the motion and Fine. i signed everything okay yes, yes, yes. good all right uh all in favor yes aye okay all right meetings attended by select board members any meetings in the last two weeks it's been no. quiet two weeks no yeah i had a quiet two weeks too i don't i don't have any meetings public comment do we have any public comments Public comments. Do we have any public comments? No public comments. Elaine, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. We have no old business. We have new business. We have appointments. The first appointment is for Denise Storm for yes. the school committee. Uh, do you have anything to say about that, Elaine? Uh, I recruited Denise to join us for the school committee. She's works in the comptroller's office at UMass and has an MBA, so I think she'll bring us some good fiscal responsibility. Not okay. that we're not already fiscally responsible. Um, and she has a child that's already at Frontier and one that's 
currently in Conway Grammar School. Okay, so, so you highly recommend her to I be do. on the school committee. But I do. That's the Conway Grammar School Committee. Correct. Okay, any other questions? She has appointment? indicated that she will accept the appointment. She has. Okay. Yeah. And she would be here herself, but it's the only time she's on vacation also. Good for her. So, okay. And I said, do it. Any other questions? No, I'll make a motion that Go ahead. Yes. Accept the appointment of Denise Storm till 2022. Yeah, 6 30 of 2022. Okay. I'll second that. Great. All right. All in favor? Yes. Okay. We're good. Thank you so much. That was good, huh? That was great. All I right. Like that. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, great. Elaine. Well, everything else goes as smoothly this evening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next item on our agenda is um, to appoint Grace Larson to the Conservation Commission for a term ending June 30th, 2022. I'll make that motion. Okay. Um, I'll, I will second that motion. All in favor? Yes. Okay. Next item on our agenda is five-year recognition letters for Sue Fenton, who has done a great job on the personnel committee, uh, and for Laura Nichols Shaw on the historical commission. Uh, do I have a second yes, on yes. those? Okay. Uh, all in favor? Yes. Okay. And, and would we uh, get Bob to sign these before you give them to him? Okay. <coughs> okay, we're a little early for our poll hearing. So, um, and we don't have Mr. Leshevsky here yet. Okay, how about the letter to Eversource? All right. We had a number of letters and emails from residents who wanted to uh, basically protest the use of glyphosate. Uh, by um, Eversource for uh, vegetation management on their rights of way. So in response to those emails and letters, we're going to send it a letter to Eversource with some backup documentation. Uh, I, so, I wasn't planning to send the backup documentation. That was just for your, for okay. your information. That's fine. And, and the letter is slightly revised from what I sent out on Thursday, so you may just want to look mm -hmm. at that paragraph. Right. It's still short. Yeah. But I thought it was that's fine. About what we can do. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we just we just want to protest their use of, of glyphosate. Alright. So I'll make a motion that we send this letter to um, uh, Eversource uh, in protest of the use of glyphosate. So yes, yes. Uh, all in favor. Aye. How are you, Malcolm? Well, do you, nothing. Do, do you want do you want to sit you want to sit here so the camera can see you? <laughs> <Not really. laughs> or you're comfortable as it is. I'll sit there if you want. Okay, and and you're here to make a comment about something? No, no I'm here to find out a little information in regards to the cupola on the town hall. Okay, and, we'll and we'll do that under public comment. What, what's your question? My question is, has anything been done in regards to removing it, Tom. repairing it? And there's money to do that with the CPA. And uh, I would like to see some actions happen to be taken on it, but I don't want to do work that's already been done. Uh, I don't know of any work that has been done on that. I do know that it is the province of the CPA to be able to move projects forward on their own. Um, 
Okay. And yeah. I had uh, suggested that uh, over the last couple of years as something that the committee might want to take up, but generally there didn't the seem to be any interest me, in it. Tom, generally the committee, the, the uh, application is given to the committee. Then we investigate it and either act on it as a favor or against, and then give it back to you people to put it on the town warrant. But lately, for some reason, there's been no action at all the CPA. I know we, we're in the middle of not having a chair. Nobody wants to be the chair. I guess an 86-year-old man like myself are going to have to be the chair, which is sad. But there's also thoughts of taking it down and leaving it down and putting slate over the hole because it does no good anymore. There's no ventilation through that cupola. I think myself, I think it ought to be taken down, repaired, and put back up. But it's going to cost some money. You're going to have to have a crane. It's got a pretty good long boom on it and uh, cover the hole for doing the repair. Mm -hmm. But my, you know, I ain't going to take up much time because if you don't have anything to give me for figures that has already been beat the bush on, I'll stop beating the bush. Uh, I, the I don't have anything. I was under the impression that the that the, if if the if the CPA did think that was a good project that they could uh, propose it themselves. But what does what do the townspeople want? What do the, the, you know? well, we find that out at town meeting when we put it up for a vote. Well, <laughs> I've heard people complain about this, this this how it looks now. I don't know whether I've had people complain to me about leaving it up there at all because it serves no purpose now. There's no ventilation coming through that way things are in the town hall. So. What do we need to do? Do we need to put it to a vote with the townspeople as to what they'd like to see done there? Well, doesn't the, doesn't the historical commission have some jurisdiction over what happens to that? The only, juris the only thing that the historical commission has, or did have, was that the church, I think it was through you people, the slut board, that made us the overseer of what went on at the church. Other well, than well, I'm not talking about the church. It's the historic, the historic district. It's in the historic district. district right? Yeah. Yeah. But, and it's a historic building. Uh, I don't know if the building was ever ever put into the historical register. Yeah, but it's in a historic district. I think the I think personally the the cupola is iconic. I think it's like what you it, it's part of what you the visual. And picture. I'll tell you what touched this off and really made me open up my eyes a little bit. I went to the Franklin County Board of Assessors meeting and I sat next to a gentleman from Whiteley and he was talking about the town hall, how they re renovated. Mm -hmm. They borrowed money from the CPA fund, which I didn't realize you could do, to repair it. And now they said the only problem they have people are bitching because there's too much traffic. <laughs> Well, you that's that's isn't that a historical building for them that the CPA could have given the money to renovate? Well, I don't know why they opted to do that. Okay. All but right. I guess my question tonight is, is has there been no no work done pre previous to this as far as cost and how much it's going to cost for a crane and so we yeah. are, well I'll go and pursue it then. But okay. If I was me, you know, <laughs> I'm not the oldest person on the CPA committee. From the very get-go, Janet Shades would be the other one, but she opted out. And, uh, you know, nothing's being done. Okay, well, um, let's initiate I, something from the, the CPA. I guess there's uh, some thoughts of having the CPA buy seeds for this gardens they're going to plant for the polliner. That's, that's the next thing that they're all going to do. Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to know. Great. Thank you, Malcolm. I'll uh, appreciate you coming in. I'll pursue Okay. what I have to do. Okay. Good seeing you. Yep. Good to be seen. Uh, I won't take up any more of your time. Right. Have a good night. Thanks good for coming you. in. Yep. No problem. Okay, can we get the uh, our poll hearing people in? All right. Took us right to 6:15, though. Yep.
Here we go. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Here we go. All right. Gentlemen, how are you doing? Hello. Jesse Martin. Hey, Jess. Hey, Martin. 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 Okay. Nick, have a seat. I'll, I'll stay. It sounds like I'm not as involved as the rest of the neighbors are. So. Okay. Yeah, just drags. Oh, it's a full house. Oh, yeah. I'm set. Oh. I think you have copies. Yeah, of the, yeah Nick, of you're, the plan. you're multiple copies of the plan there. You might give them to Phil. Nick, so you're in. You're here for every time. No, no. We're, you're here for. I'm here because we own. We were no? notified that we own land along the Hill Road. Okay, so you're here for the show. Yes. Oh. Okay. And it's my house that's being affected, so that's why oh. I'm here. Oh, okay. I think these people are here for all the different. They're on our yes. house. Right. Yeah. Thank you. We don't know. Yep. Yes. Do you mind passing that along to people who sign their names? I know your name. Dude. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. We must but we still need a record. Yeah, and I will yeah. gladly put it's my nice husband's name down too. You see about well, on the underground lines and yeah. the holes, but it doesn't say where. Teresa, have where you met my husband? Who we have asked? No, well, listen. I have not. Well, he's, we've got the plan Troy. right here. No. This is Lisa. Lisa, Lisa. Lisa. my husband. Nice Good. I don't know about that. This is in my bag. I know you have. That's why I didn't. And we know, Phil. How many contractors have been in town since they started? Try to take care of you. Fifteen. All right, let's see. Does everybody have a copy of this? No, no, no. We've got nothing. I heard Marty on it. Oh, is that the postcard? No, no. No, it's the proposed. All right, we're here to have a poll hearing on moving a poll, an ever source poll. Um, I'll make a motion that we open the hearing. Do I have a second? Sure. All yes. in favor? Yes. Okay. Um, why don't you give us the, uh, the rundown on what you want to do here? Uh, I'm going to do the best I can here. Um, uh, this isn't actually my project. I'm filling in for somebody. So uh, it's my understanding that, uh, that the existing poll um, creates a trespass between two neighboring properties. Correct. Now, what does that so, mean exactly? So from what well, miners, like again, from my understanding, I went there, drove up there quick and took a look at it. Um, apparently, the poll is not on the property of the person that it serves, of the people that it serves? It used to be. Okay. It used to all and, be. And the property one changed family. hands. Right. And so we're looking to move the poll onto uh, the property line. 22 <coughs> feet over. <coughs> It's I only like two. Yeah, it's only like two feet on the other side of the property line. Twenty-two feet is going to put it like. No, it isn't. It's going to put it right where it's supposed to be. Where did this come from? This, I don't know. What's twenty-two drawn. feet is going to put it this near is, my this driveway. Is a, no, it is not. It's not. You're you're totally wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> Because Where did this drawing come from? Well, I would hope you'd be able to answer that question. This, <laughs> <came from. laughs> this is your drawing. <laughs> no, this is the one I have. This is the one we supplied to me. Okay, okay. Like? This is the sketch that would go out to the line crew to go move. Well, okay. Can we make copies of that so Absolutely. we can all talk from the same thing? Yeah. 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 And that doesn't have any dimensions on it, so I'm not yeah, sure. Tom, can we make does this have any amount? A couple of copies. There it is. Okay. So this didn't come from Eversource? This did come from Okay. But I just wasn't going to fly a copy of it. Okay. I could tell just the one that you had was more informative than this one. So. Well, well, right that, now the well, it shows like two feet on the other side. They're showing it straight. No, that's no, that's what's very confusing two about this one. It. Agreed. Two poles Agreed. on my property. Because that, that's where the road kind of has a little pitch to it. Okay. But yeah. the existing one, uh, it now is about 22 feet from the property line. And that's where we. I talked to one of your field things. engineers, and he said strong. they're going to move it up to the property line, which there's a stake right in the ground right there at the property line okay. that was surveyed it's on the uh, tax maps and everything in the town okay that's where that pole is going to be because it's not going to be on our property anymore okay so it's going to be exactly. on on a property line between two properties right okay. but it's not way up by your right. well, 20 yeah, no, I, I, it's not okay yeah uh, it's 22 feet from where the pole is now the one to our property line I just don't because think it's the, the pole is a little it's far, far. Okay. I cut around it. Thank you. 
<laughs> so, so that's well, it, it's, 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 it's all it's all pretty straightforward. Really, what what they got to do is move it up to the property line. We're not allowing them to dig trenches in our property. End of story. So yes. make that go away. We're happy campers. You're happy campers. Okay. So is your existing service served overhead? Their service. That's their house. Okay. That's why they live. They live in the house here. Okay. We own the property around it. Okay. 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 So oh, he's got that. Um, so what we want to do is move it to the so you move it? Yeah. up where it belongs. Okay. And the town and would like to see you talking to house. the town road boss. Would love to see it away from the side of the road, up closer to the pin. Okay. That's what he would love because it's so narrow that the town trucks are clipping it now coming by. Yeah, so yeah, it's pretty close to the road. So yeah, it's really, it's, it's, yeah, it's past. really that. Do you, do you have the original? The original? Uh, where's the original? Yeah. 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 The original. Yeah. Thank you. All of these. So yeah, that's that just shows the equipment right, so, that we're So this is this is your this is yeah. your house. See, here. I have absolutely no problem with moving the pole over onto our property. I would like to be there when they mark the spot. Okay. Just to. I believe there's already a stake in the ground. It, is this there was, no? There was no stake. I mean, stake is somebody the keeps putting stakes. The property line. Yeah. Okay. Is, is this there is a stake at the property line. Okay. Is this so red? That's the best is, they would use as a reference. Is this red triangle right on the property line? Right I'm here. That's sure. where the the pole is going to be moved to, right? So it. It's right on the property line of these two abutting properties? It, it appears yeah. that way, yes. Oh, okay. you're not sure? I can't say for sure, because I wasn't, I don't know the property lines. Well, and the, I wasn't the, there when the, when the pin went in, but. The, the surveyor's pin is right there. There's a black okay. uh, a plastic pole with an mm -hmm. orange tape around it. Okay. And if you just pull it away at the bottom, you'll see a pin okay. driven in the okay. ground that's painted orange mm -hmm. and a rebar. Okay. It was installed by Steve Spang that. on that, so. Yep. Uh, that's all part of the registered map on the town. Everything that's the way it is. Okay. And they did uh, tell us also the field guide that was out there. They have a guideline that's going across our field, which is going to come out of there, and you're going to guideline this at the property line, which will be six feet from the base of the pole. Is what I was told. Sounds right. Okay. Yeah. Which is fine. Exactly. I, I told okay. them they're not putting any guidelines in my field. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't care where you put it, but you're not putting it in my field. End of story. So okay. there's no negotiations on it. Mm -hmm. but, but that on the property line is okay. Right, okay. right. So that's, everybody was on the same page. That's why this okay. meeting is just kind of, kind of crazy. So, so, the, all right. so the pole is on your property now. Yes. Precisely. And it's going to be moved Fred to the Park, property line yes. between your property and your property. Yep. Yeah, that was okay. all Parker land before. That's right. why it was right. a non-issue. It, it, now it's, it's not an issue. interfere with anything in your property. No, the only, the only thing I, I'm going to have to bring up with Eversource is the people who renovate the house before us did some work to the electrical panels and put in the sub panel and they're not up to code now you guys are going to have to pull the current underground wires and put in all new wires and disconnecting electricity and adding new electricity to a panel that doesn't meet after the meter is code. Involved, so it's not our responsibility oh, I know it's not your no. responsibility my concern yes. is it's the neighbor's property? That you no, 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 the, the people who renovated the house before we yes, bought it. Before you bought it. So did that. it with no permits. And no, my, I just, my concern is, could there be some kind of an electrical issue on, I, I, I don't want to like come home to my house burnt down. Oh, of course. Because you guys pulled wires up, you know, from the outside yeah. and it made my panel go kaboom. No. Uh, they would disconnect the meter. And then that, and that would kill power your house, um, and then remove the wire from there out. There wouldn't be any, you know, they, um, they would probably remove it at the, at the pole first. Like, it, there wouldn't be any feet, any live feet okay. happening while they were doing that. Okay. Yeah, um, but I think her question is, is once everything's hooked up again, mm -hmm. does this new improved feed going to affect this substandard box that's in the house? No. Will there be no, electrical No, the house will only draw what it needs. It okay. Concern. Thank you, Mary. Yeah. 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 Okay. The problem is we don't know what it needs. <laughs> <laughs> and we've because been trying some, to get an electrician some, in there. For some but. reason, that, that mm -hmm. all this renovation work was done on my house that we bought that nobody knew about, the town didn't know about, nobody knew about. Mm -hmm. Electrical work was done, plumbing work was done. Nobody knew about it. Nobody checked on it. Nobody authorized it. Nobody so pulled permits. How, no inspections were ever done. All right, but right. but the, the purpose yes, of this is beyond the pole yes. on the line is okay with everybody, correct? Yeah, we're yes. fine with moving it on. on okay. Yes. On and then, yes, and then you're going to be digging a trench to remove the old lines and then putting in a second trench to put in new lines? 
Um, because it's underground from the pole to yeah, the house. Scenario. Two different areas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely for the new lines. I don't see anything about removing the old line. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, you know, if it's a direct berry line, they can leave it in the ground and trench next to it for the new line. Uh, I believe it's direct berry. But, I don't think I don't think it's in conduit. Yeah. It might be. It might be in your umbilical cord there. That mm -hmm. orange stuff. But yeah, <laughs> right. just yeah, just it gets so it in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Will they conduit the new lines? Yes. Thank you. Yep, that's standard now. Sounds good. Okay, yeah. so everybody, everybody's satisfied with what's going to happen here. Thanks. That you'd like to be home when they put. Place well, I would. I'd like to I either me or Troy be. be there when they mark the spot where it's going to be. Just to. Okay. Do you agree? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll really see because it's going to be right on the property line. Yeah. I mean, I know where the pin is. They're talking. Well, when I, 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 when I, I leave here, it's too, but. Huh? When I leave here, I'll run back up there and see the mark, the, the sure. marker you can run up with us. Make sure that it's there. If it's something that it. Um, will be easily identifiable by the crew, then I'll leave it. And if it's not, then I'll come back up tomorrow morning with, with the guy who's actually responsible for this area, and we'll, we'll get it. And when do you plan on doing this? Um, I, it's hard for me to say. It usually takes a couple weeks before they set a pole if it's not. How long are we gonna be out of power? Uh, you shouldn't be out long at all. It should be, um, if they're gonna uh, trench a new line, a new conduit and everything, they'll have all the wires run, maybe uh, half a day, half a day for them to, disconnect your power and, and make the two connections at either end. So all the digging and stuff like that you'll do with the power on? Yes, correct. Yep. So if you're going to go straight from here, can they come, can they go straight yeah, from there too? Yeah, absolutely, if you guys like to, sure. Well, I yeah. hope I can go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to match me. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's pretty easy. <laughs> but do you, you understand what she was concerned with? Yeah. That when you guys hook up new power lines, mm -hmm. that the panels we have are going to be able to handle the new right. power lines. Mm -hmm. If if your house, because we already know there's violation. My, I'm not a professional electrician. I'm not a professional electrical engineer or anything. But what I do know is that if your house were drawing enough that it were going to cause a problem, then it, it would have either shorted out. It would have caused caused a fault in your existing line, or it would already burned up the panels. And see, we don't even run half the electricity because we don't know what it's going to do. Mm -hmm. Right. But if it hasn't. Done We've got switches that, that yeah. blow the bird. What's, what's happening outside from the from the from the pole to the house? It won't affect what's yeah. going on after that. Okay. Okay. So we're all set here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll make a motion that we close the hearing, uh, and then I'll make a motion that we sign the order uh, for sole pole locations. Do I have a second? That is a double motion? Yes. I will second your double motion. Okay, all in favor? I, I, yes. I have to sign it as the clerk. Yeah, yeah. So you said I had me. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. I just thought. You don't I wasn't sure. I don't know. I don't know. I did certify a full location. But that gets done after the full gets put in, I believe. They came two months ago and I gave them permission to do certain things. And I said, I want to be They actually signed it. I'll trust them with my oak tree. They said, I don't care. Yeah. We go on vacation. I leave signs on all the trees. Do not cut into a bath. And then I think there was a nice Change that. So we actually have to get them a certified yeah. whole number. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's hard to say. Uh, it has to be at least two feet in the ground. Uh, it may be still close. You guys are going to be seated. Yeah. Uh, the contract that would probably be done by an outside contractor. Uh, and and, and it will be responsible for it. I was going to say. Have you seen it? Oh, okay. yes. Thank you all for coming in. I do. Take care. Have a good night. I have to sign it as the clerk and sort of. Oh, I don't have to sign it. Lori, take yes, care. thank you. <laughs> Thanks, John. Yep. Mary, good seeing you. And I will Troy, do this in the morning. You. Take care. Appreciate Have a good night. If that's okay. Yeah. Huh? Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, you can follow us on. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I just I will cert I, I will certify every sources copy now. <laughs> what we need is one of those copies of Oh your, here, uh, take mine. Oh no, you, you, you yeah, okay. yeah. Can we have those? Yeah, take them. Thank you. Make, um, yeah. You can always get cut just for the meeting record, so they'll always be here in case you want to refer. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Good night. Thank Thanks. you. See you guys. See ya. Okay. Is, is Mr. Lashevsky here? Um, no. Up there. no I see you guys. He's not. I don't see him up there. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, all right. We'll just uh, we'll put that on hold for right now in case he gets here.
All right, Tom, we have items not anticipated 48 hours in advance, uh, increase in the stipend for our animal control officer. Yes, this, this came up last year again. He's required to do a training. Okay. And that's, um, that's something that's above and beyond what he used to have to do. He was okay. new um, recently. And what he's asked for is um, additional pay for the eight hours that he has to go. And um, what, I've, what I've said is that I would, I would bring that to you um, and support it, but what he really ought to do is include that in his, in his stipend request for next year. Okay, what's his stipend now? It's pretty low. It's uh, 2500 something like that. 2500 This would be $160. Okay, he's been, he's been pretty busy lately. Oh, yeah. There's no question that, that the stipend does not cover his hours in terms of dollars per hour. And this would be for $160 that would go from his, um, the remainder of his um, budget, okay. which was not um, fully spent, into the stipend. Uh, it's an internal change, so it, it, it doesn't actually need approval, but I thought I would bring it because it is, a, okay. it is an unusual request and I, I hope it doesn't come again. I hope he builds it into the stipend and it should be covered that way. Okay. Um, okay. Unless, and th there are arguments for, especially for him, for going to an hourly position because it does vary so much. Sure. And yeah. he is probably not fairly compensated at this point. We did bring him up a few years ago and he's still uh, it depends on the year, you yeah, know. Sure. But but so yeah. there may be arguments, and I am planning. I've actually already started to broach the subject with the personnel committee. So can we do some sort of a base? Stipend? Well, we we do Plus. a base, but okay. but combining stipend and hourly is not a great solution either. Yeah, right. Okay. So it should probably be either one or the other. So for now, I've asked him to build it into his stipend for next year. Okay. And in a related question, like there were yeah. it was front page and. Um, a few days ago about towns banding together for an animal control person, all of our neighboring towns, many of our neighboring well, towns. Well, it's and mostly the north and north Shelburne. central and northwest Shelburne in there. towns for Franklin County. So, I mean, people asked, people asked, one person asked about that, so. The, I, um, I, yeah, I, and I had a long talk with Joe about that. Um, his sense is that there are too many towns in that particular arrangement especially with Monroe in, uh, because a lot depends, uh, say for stray dogs, a lot depends on response time. Sure. Yeah. And if somebody's in one end of the area that they're covering and they have to go to the other area, the other end, then that's not likely to do nearly as much good. Or if we get a complaint about a barking dog, if you can get there within 10 minutes, sometimes they're still barking. If you get there an hour later, it's, an, it's a different situation, and they may be in a different part of town. So, um, his he he was skeptical about how that was going to work out. Of course, his wife is at the head of the Franklin County Kennel, um, so that's where the person would be based out of. So they're they're very well informed as to how the plan was proposed and is taking shape. Um, so that those are just his initial thoughts on that. Okay, it, it's it's all about response time. The same way as, as it would be about uh, public safety, you know, sure. or police, yeah. fire, ambulance. So you get 160 bucks for the training? Yeah. All right. I'll make a motion to do that. Yeah. We'll second that. That's fine. The raise so the stipend by $160 is how we're going to... And, and could you uh, do... Probably some, going to do it. ...some research on that and come up with a recommendation on, on yeah. the increase? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we did several years ago, and, and uh, part of the problem is that uh, all of the regional animal control officers probably are not compensated so that they would be getting the dollars per hour that any dollars per hour that sounded reasonable. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you did it by hour and the problem is is that you never know how much it's going to be and sure. it's a 24-hour job and it's always been stipended and it's it's a it's a common problem to all small towns. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, do you have your update Tom? I do. Relatively brief, because things are in the summer mode. Uh, in committee news, a resident, Betsy 
Polakowski has expressed interest in being on the Agricultural Commission. I've asked her whether she can come in on the 22nd to meet you and get appointed. I haven't heard back yet, but that might be on the agenda for next time. Uh, she comes uh, with Jason's recommendation. As I understand it, I copied him on my reply. Um, I'll be working with Lee Whitcomb on a, new, on a job description for her new assistant. She is an exempt employee, and her assistant will be non-exempt, so it's not simply a matter of cutting and pasting. Uh, we have some good examples to base it on and should be ready to advertise soon. Her new assistant. Yeah, this is the um, assistant um, that will be doing higher level work than Laura, but lower level work than her. Okay. And we're conceiving of it as a transition post. That is, um, over time, that person should be able to do the essentials that she does mm -hmm. if she were to leave her position at some time and help us make a transition to a new uh, administrative assessor. It could be that person who would then have more responsibility um, or it could be someone else, but there would at least be some redundancy in the office. Mm -hmm. This is a permanent position? Yeah. We, uh, we went over this as she, uh, when she presented her budget. Yeah, okay. Um, we've had a request to modify, modify some off-road drop inlets. It seems to me that I have another set of handouts for you. Yes. Here they are. This is the keep my Jack Russell Terrier from disappearing in an inlet? That's the one. So that's the email thread and that's a picture of the off-road drop inlet. This is as opposed to a catch basin, which is in the road and has a grate so people can drive over them. Mm -hmm. um, the highway department says that our, uh, there, are, there are multiple ones you know, throughout the town, uh, but they're not on roads, so they're not, not as noticeable sometimes. Um, they say that ours are industry standard and putting up barriers would defeat the purpose of the installation. So that's where we are. I just got that reply. You can see it's dated today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From the uh, Iowa Department, there's a picture of what it is. Um, of course, all dogs are supposed to be leashed. Of course, not all dogs are. So just <laughs> never heard of anybody losing a dog yeah, down a yeah. well or anything. That, that would be yeah, yeah, that no, would be no, just no, yeah. Oh my goodness! How irresponsible. Uh, uh, so, okay, moving on. Um, uh, I've been taking care uh, myself of a number of uh, beginning of the year, beginning of the fiscal year items, including paying the first hog and reapplying to Maya for all of our liability categories, as well as making sure Maya's lists of our vehicles, buildings, and property are correct. More items such as MMA and other annual dues will be coming later on in the summer. Typical standard beginning of fiscal year stuff, I just thought I'd fill you in that I'm actually doing it, so that's good. Uh, in other news, I have heard from the library director, Carol Baldwin, that the last day she will be working will be Wednesday, July 10th. Oh, that's and, a shame. Uh, She's wonderful. That's, um, I that's her last day on the job? Just heard that today, yeah. Okay. Is, who's replacing her, do we know? Uh, I don't know that, we, uh, that they have chosen a replacement at this time. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's separate and apart from us, but uh, thanks for yeah, just informing town us. News. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next item: uh, concerns of the selectmen. Do you have any concerns? No, I do not. No me. concerns. Sorry. Just okay. All right. Next item is mail. Okay, mail. Let's see what we have here. Uh, the purple one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we have a complaint from a resident about fireworks over this past weekend. Um, uh, what I would suggest is we give this to Ken for his mm -hmm. for him to investigate. All right. Uh, I will note that, uh, as I understand it, fireworks uh, you can obtain a permit for fireworks from the fire chief. 
Um, and we don't know whether or not these particular items were permitted or not. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I mean, it's always, the, there's ba babies and dogs don't like fireworks. Yeah. From the beginning mm. of the invention of fireworks till now. But uh, it's one night a year. Yeah, I know. I didn't hear, I didn't hear a thing Fourth of July night. I don't know why. Mm. I thought it was pretty quiet around here. And you're not holding up your end of things, John. Apparently not, you know, apparently not. At least I, get some blanks. I was in bed early, you know. Um, we also have a letter from Elaine Campbell about the school committee uh, appointment or, or request for Denise Storm uh, to fill on the committee. We already did that. Um, and that, was, that letter was authorized by the entire committee, by the way, so that was... Oh, sure, yeah, of course. Uh, we have a letter or an email from uh, Senator Hines, uh, who shared a quick, quick update on legislation that I know of interest to you. That's um, Senate 589, an act relative to limits of insurers' retroactive clawbacks uh, of mental health and substance abuse disorder services. Okay, that's just to inform us of that. Okay, that's it for mail. Uh, we have we have a notice in here from our um, town clerk about state ethics. Um, that that's that's uh, your folder. The red folder is, right. is your yes. personal folder. It's, it's for me. Yes. And you probably have one in yours as well. I, I think Bob Armstrong does. I think that may be current. I think I am current. I what is it, every two years? Yeah. 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 Okay, so mine's probably due. All right. Uh, we have any announcements? No? Okay. Next meeting uh, is scheduled for the 22nd here in the town offices. Um, we had originally scheduled a, an executive session but since Bob is not here, I would rather hold that off until we can have a full board for that, okay? Uh, one other thing, we have an update on the um, Mohawk Trails Woodlands Partnership. Uh, Tom, do we have something we can, can we put this on our website? Uh, Sure. Okay. I have to find a good category for it. Okay. Um, just a, a brief note on that. The uh, initial phase um, is concluding. Um, at, at one point, there were 10 out of 11 towns that had signed that would have to have signed on to create the actual partnership. And I think the 11th one is in process or has happened. Okay. Uh, and what that means is that. They'll be going from an advisory committee to a board. Mm -hmm. Beth Gershman has indicated that she's interested in staying on with the group as a board member, um, even though it's switching its its uh, um, organizational form. Uh, so that will be an item uh, sometime soon. Okay, you have the original of this, correct? Yeah. Okay. It, it's it's an email. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, all right, if there's no other business to come before the board, I'll make a motion to adjourn. So, second. Yes, yes. All in favor? Yes, yes. All right. <laughs>